Reading and listening. Disappointed. Have you ever had a moment when you felt like your voice wasn't being heard? Well, I certainly have, and it happened not too long ago when my younger brother decided not to listen to me. It left me feeling disappointed and frustrated, but I learned a valuable lesson about patience and communication. It all went down one sunny afternoon when I was excitedly telling my friends about our upcoming camping trip. I was bubbling with excitement, eager to share the plans and adventures we had in store. However, as I was enthusiastically recounting the details, I noticed my younger brother, Jake, wasn't paying attention. At first, I brushed it off, thinking he was just distracted by something else. But when I tried to engage him in the conversation, he simply shrugged and continued playing with his toys. That's when it hit me. He wasn't listening to me. It felt like a punch to the gut. Here I was, pouring my heart out about something important to me, and he couldn't even spare a moment to listen. I felt dismissed and unimportant, like my words didn't matter to him at all. In that moment, I didn't know what to do. Should I scold him for not paying attention? Should I just let it slide and pretend like it didn't bother me? Instead, I took a deep breath and decided to address the situation calmly. I gently asked Jake if he could please listen to what I had to say because it was important to me. At first, he seemed reluctant, but then he reluctantly agreed. As we continued our conversation, I made a conscious effort to include Jake in the discussion, asking for his opinions and thoughts. Slowly but surely, he started to engage more, and by the end of it, he was just as excited about the camping trip as I was. It was a small victory, but it taught me a valuable lesson about patience and understanding. Looking back on that day, I realized that disappointment is a natural part of life, especially when it comes to dealing with siblings. But instead of letting it consume me, I chose to communicate and find a solution. In the end, it brought us closer together and strengthened our bond as siblings. So, the next time you feel disappointed because someone isn't listening to you, remember to take a deep breath and communicate calmly. You never know. It might just lead to a breakthrough and a stronger relationship in the end. Happy learning!